right, welcome back to CLE Weekend. You know, uh, the Cleveland Ballet is something you may hear about and you may be thinking, oh, maybe been to a show, maybe not. So excited right now to be joined by Gladysa Guadalupe. Thanks, first of all, for coming on to talk to us. Thank you for having me here. Okay, so you guys have here in the fall this new show, world premiere. Explain to me what we can expect coming up here. Well, you know, the theater by itself is magical. And then you open the curtain and you see this magic on stage. You see beautiful dancers, beautiful music, live orchestra, piano on stage, dancers from 10 different countries. What to expect but beauty. Yeah. The moment you walk into the theater, Playhouse Square, Connell Palace, you forget about your life and you get transported into these beautiful places in the world. And it's a good point because you do, you go in there, sometimes we forget we are in Cleveland because our theater district is just amazing. So to walk in there and then, you know, this for you is so um, inspiring, I should say. And for many people who will see it because of what you have done with the Cleveland Ballet, specifically here, with Carmen. Tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so, you know, we are entering our ninth season wow. of the new Cleveland Ballet, resident company of Playhouse Square. Uh, what to expect in this performance? Yeah. Okay, so we start with Padedis, with which it is a part of a ballet, Raymonda, world known Raymonda ballet. Then we have a world premiere of Nocturne, of Chopin music, um, playing piano music on stage with dancers. And then we have the story of Carmen, also with orchestra. So what to expect? Passion, love, seduction, and everything. So this is a good date night then. Because as it's you're saying this, I'm thinking, hmm, my husband, it would be kind of a good thing for us to do. Carmen, which is the story of seduction, story of love, you know, we all have experienced <laughs> that stuff. We're flirting, we're dancing, there are gypsies, there's historiadores, there's majas, which is the most beautiful women in Spain. Oh. So it is, we have guitar player, we have an opera singer, we have the tenor. Well, yeah, the live music. I mean, there's a lot of different dance companies that are kind of going away from the live music, but you and doing, you know, stuff on tape, but it is all live. It is all live. <sighs> we, the moment that my husband and I decided to actually found this ballet company, one thing that I said to him, small company, not large numbers of artists, okay. so that we can actually do good productions and live accompaniment, live music. So we do have, for this performance, 33 musicians and the orchestra pit. Wow. Yes. Okay. Now walk me through going through like a rehearsal. When you go in there, like what's your creative process to be like, okay, let's do this. Here's what I'm thinking. And then make sure they all know what your creative process is and what you want to see. The creative process, you know, this is, this is my life. So it is, I don't want to say it's in my DNA, but it is, it is kind of in my DNA. So I have ideas of what I would like to present to Cleveland. I've been in Cleveland since 1982, so I kind of know the audience what the needs of the audience is, you know. So let's take just um, Carmen, for example. I read Carmen, the novella, when I was in high school in Puerto Rico. So it, this is long, you know, very long and all this stuff. You have a good history, yeah. Of course, so I, it's, I know the story. So I said, okay, so we do not want to keep the audiences sitting for two and a half hours. Okay because you don't want to do that. Yeah. You want to condense the story without jeopardizing the story, jeopardizing the, the content, yeah. you know, and doing everything. What do I get inspiration from? My dancers. I have the story, I look at the dancers, I listen to the music, and I start building, yeah. building. Do I change my mind? Perhaps, <laughs> you know, but not, not. The one thing that I have learned is in order to appeal audiences, in order to give, keep the audiences engaged in what they're seeing on stage, you have to give them the true story, you know? So we've been successful so far, Jamie. Oh, I yeah. love that. You know, the success too is something that I want to see. We want you to see. Tell us where can we go to get tickets to come and see the show? Well, you know, you can call 216-320-9000. That's our headquarters in, in Cleveland. You can call, also call Playhouse Square. You can go online. Okay. You know, so it is very easy to get tickets. And I think, you know, we are at a time in which the world is so chaotic. And, you know, to bring stories like that on stage, to bring to Playhouse Square, it's the second largest arts complex yeah, in the nation. It is. It is phenomenal. We oh. just, my husband and I came from Europe just now. People know about Playhouse Square. Oh. People know about Cleveland Ballet. So why not go? 
forget about your life and be enamored, you know? If you're looking for more information then to get the tickets and go clevelandballet.org, great spot to do it. Uh, so you know what today is National Guacamole Day. We are gonna make it next. And I make the best guacamole. Then maybe you should stick around should stick with around. us. Yes, thanks so much for coming on. Thank the Cleveland you. Ballet, of course, you can get your tickets there. Uh, and thanks for all the information. We'll be right back, stay with us.